Okay, in this video I'm going to show you uh, Artis 2000 PHP script for feedback forms. It's actually a PHP script that can handle processing any kind of email form. Um, and what it will do is actually, it can ha the same script can handle an unlimited number of forms with an unlimited number of field types. And what it does is whatever information is entered into the form, it then emails to an address of your choice. Uh, basically similar to the famous form mail scripts, but a um, couple of big advantages. First of all, it's a PHP script rather than a Perl CGI script, so uh, it's easy to integrate into your PHP website. Uh, second, and perhaps most importantly, it's a very secure script. Um, some versions of form mail have a bug in it that can be exploited by spammers. Uh, basically, those versions of form mail allow people to use your server to send spam to third parties. Uh, this PHP script by Ansys2000 uh, is completely safe from that, completely secure. And the third big advantage is it included uh, some validation functions built in that will allow you to make sure people enter correct information into your forms and it will prompt users to correct any mistakes. So here we're looking at a sample form. As I say, your real form can have any combination of fields you like, um, and uh, you can have more than one form as well. So here's my sample form, and I'm going to start filling it out. Now, what I'll do is, I'll, first of all, I won't enter anything. Um, I'm supposed to enter my name, email address, kind of question that I've got, and the actual question. But what happens if I just press OK? What happens is it prompts me here, you must enter a value for this field for the name. So let's enter my name. In this case, I'm going to type in John Smith. Uh, I'm now ready to type uh, in the email address, but instead I'm going to make a mistake and press OK. It says I must enter a value for this mail field. So um, let's try entering the email address, jsmith at, and uh, what should happen now is, is, again, I should type out a full address, but if I click OK, it will say you must enter a valid email address. So I have to enter actually something that follows the email conventions. So I put jsmith at hotmail. Again, I'll try clicking OK, making a mistake, and it says I must enter a value for the actual question. So we'll enter the question as being, um, how much is your product? And we'll make it a sales question. So that's somebody at your website, John Smith's come to your website, and he's asking a question, how much is your product? And he clicks OK. And what happens is that software, that, that information would now normally be sent to you in an email. I've got this script set up in demo mode so the results actually get shown on the screen rather than being sent in an email. So you, you can see what the email would look like. First of all it sends it to an address of your choice uh, and from an address of your choice. Uh, but since it's a demonstration um, we uh, see uh, that example. We get the subject line which can also be customized and then we get the content which is what's entered in the form and in the IP address of the person who submitted the form. So that's the IP address of the person submitting the form, uh, the name of the form, uh, which is a hidden field on the form, um, and then the content which was entered, John Smith, J. Smith at Hotmail, sales question, how much is your product? Um, so that's basically it. The script is um, available from scriptrocket.com. You can go to the website and you can see a demonstration which shows you some other um, examples of what the script can do, some other types of forms. Um, the script comes with I think six example forms and of course full instructions how to use it, how to set it up, how to set up your different types of validation on your fields. Uh, very simple to use, very powerful. Go to the website scriptrocket.com, check it out.